Good morning children. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and you all are doing well. And you all are studying also because you all are my good children. I am your Momita ma'am and I am here to take your English class children. Let's take out your English book, English copy and get ready with a pencil and eraser. Okay, in our last class, what we have learned? We have learned words with alphabets. Words with alphabet. We were doing this topic, isn't it? So, which are the words we have learned? A for ant, A for arm, B for bat, B for bag, C for cow, C for cat. D for dog, D for door, E for ear, E for egg, F for fan, F for fog, G for gun, G for goat, H for hen, H for hat, I for ink, I for eyes. Next page. J for jug, J for jar, K for kid, K for king, L for lion, L for lamb, M for man, M for mat, N for net, N for nose, O for owl, O for oil. So in our last class we have finished up to O. Today I will start from P, M, N, O, P. I will begin from P today. P for pen, P, E, N, pen, P, E, N, pen, P for pot, P, O, T, pot, P, O, T, pot. Q for quill, Q, U, I, double, L, quill, palo, quill means Feather that, that is quill, okay. Q for queen, Q U double E N, queen, Q U double E N, queen. R for rat, R A T, rat, R A T, rat, R for rose, R O S E, rose, R O S E, rose. S for sun. S U N Sun, S U N Sun, S for Star, S T A R Star, S T A R Star, T for Tap, T for Toy, T for Tap, T for Toy. Okay, so once again I am repeating P for Pen, P for Pot, Q for Quill. Quill meaning I have already told you in Bengali I have also said. Quill means palo, the feather. Okay. R for rat, R for rose, S for sun, S for star, T for tap, T for toy. So children you have to practice these words. These are new words for you. You have to practice writing and as well as you have to memorize the words alphabets i'll be giving you and you have to write down the words any words also you can write but for now you can practice these two words okay so children take care of yourself god bless you bye bye